Have you ever wondered what happens behind the closed doors of a funeral home? In a quiet Colorado town, a sinister secret lay buried, literally. Picture it, the return to nature funeral home, its facade unassuming, its secrets hidden from view. One fateful day, law enforcement received a call, a smell so foul it defied description. Their destination? The return to nature funeral home. As they stepped inside, what they found would haunt them forever. Behind those doors, 189 decaying bodies lay, some for years. Their dignity stripped away, their final resting place a nightmare. Families had entrusted their loved ones to this establishment, believing in the promise of cremation. But the truth, far more horrifying than anyone could imagine. The unthinkable. Clad in hazmat suits, investigators combed through the dimly lit corridors. The air thick with decay, they faced the grim reality. These weren't just bodies awaiting cremation, they were victims of deception. The funeral home had betrayed their trust. Loved ones reduced to rotting remains, their families left in shock. How could a place meant for solace become a house of betrayal? Plaintiffs stepped forward, their grief transforming into rage. John and Carrie Holford, owners of Return to Nature, faced accusations. Emotional distress, negligence, and fraud, the charges piled up. The community demanded justice. How could those responsible for honoring the departed turn their sacred duty into a macabre charade? Among the victims was Richard Law's father. He had entrusted his father's remains to return to nature, believing in their solemn promise. Three years later, the unthinkable, his father's body among the rotting remains. A twist no one saw coming, the ultimate betrayal. Richard's heart-wrenching revelation shattered the illusion of trust. In death, we expect respect and dignity. For these souls, justice must prevail. But what if the very place we trust becomes our worst nightmare? Share your thoughts below. How can we prevent such horrors?